How's it going guys? Today we're going to be discussing living weapons, where to get them, how to level them up, how to upgrade them, and I'm doing a bit of a showcase at the end of the video of all the living weapons at stage 3. But the first portion is going to be where to get living weapon husks. There's a few ways. The first one you'll probably come across is the temple of the living weapons. So what you want to do is just go into the temple, just walk through this door, and talk to this guy. Go through his dialogue, and he'll give you a living weapon husk. Another way is to fight the Frostborn out in the wastes, and he is located here. So when you defeat him, you'll get a living weapon and some random accessories. Another way to obtain living weapons is through the Trials of the Frost Temple. The higher that you get through the trial, the more rewards that you get, be that living weapon husks, accessories, or some consumables. You can also do trials that are scattered around the Northern Kingdoms. They look like this. Three levels of difficulty. These are located in these positions here, mostly in caves. There is one in an event area. There's six of them in total that I have found. Next up, we're going to be discussing how to level up living weapons. So this is gathering experience. Usually from killing just mobs, you'll get a bit of experience. So I like to just do all the trials, do all of the excavation sites, and then go through a run in the rift. And then there's these bad boys scattered around the Northern Kingdoms. Keep an eye out for these. These will net you a total of 250 living weapon evolution points. There is a few of these scattered all around the Northern Kingdoms. And this is the path that I like to take. So there is seven in total. When I come to the Northern Kingdoms, I usually just like to fly. So I like to do this run first. You get a hefty amount of experience. Once you've reached the max evolution points, come back to the Temple of the Living Weapons and just walk into the middle just with your living weapons in hand and then they'll transform. And then that's done. You can see here it's stage three and here are all the other stage three evolutions. So this is Spirit of the Magma. Every hit can generate rage of the magma buff, which increases melee and elemental damage. After getting 30 stacks, causes a giant fiery explosion, which deals damage to all enemies around and spawns fiery rocks all directions. Each rock can spawn lava tentacles, which attacks your enemies. Spirit of the Blizzard. Each strike has a chance to apply a buff of the blizzard, which increases melee elemental damage. After getting 25 stacks, creates a blizzard that damages enemies and slows them down and applies a shield on the player that absorbs damage and heals them, also reflecting melee damage back. Spirit of the Thunder. Each strike has a chance to add Rage of Thunder effect, which increases melee and elemental damage. After getting 40 stacks, hits enemies around with Chain Lightning three times and creates lightning strikes that stun enemies around. Next up, we have the Heavy Light Piercer. Every attack applies stackable burn of holy energy that deals damage over time. Shield Bash, Powerful Strike, and Paladin Seal create flash of powerful energy that deals damage depending on stacked burns on enemies and also has a chance to spawn judgment nearby. The Earthbound Piercer. Each strike stacks damage absorbing shield on the player. Each strike has a chance to spawn underground spike on an enemy around the player. Each strike can spawn waves of rocks all around. Spear of Hardened Blood. Each attack gives stackable damage, increasing buff. Blood Demon form is active, increases its duration by one second per stack. Every attack has a chance to spawn Bloody Spike Strike on an enemy around you. Bloody Spike explodes after striking. Dazzling Bow. Every arrow applies stackable burn of holy energy that deals damage over time. Arrows have a chance to create flash of powerful energy that deals damage depending on stacked burns on enemies and also has a chance to spawn judgment nearby. The Chainer. Every arrow has a chance to chain enemies around it, immobilizing them. Chained enemies receive damage over time. After some time, chained enemies explode. Curse Totem. Every 10 seconds, melee attacks with this stuff can create healing, attack increasing, or frenzy buffs to your minions and damage disorientation or stun debuffs for your enemies. Dragon Soul. Each elemental spell has a chance to summon fire breathing dragon that attacks enemies with fireballs. Dragon improves your elemental beam and attack with fiery attack in the spot you focus an element.
The Ancient Tree Branch. Every 14 seconds, Flora Spells can summon a tree at Companion for 60 seconds that will attack your enemies, and Beast Spells can create Summon a Wolf Companion. Ceremonial Holy Staff. Every 15 seconds, Holy Spells can summon an Angel Companion for 60 seconds and will attack your enemies. Arcane Focuser. Melee attacks with this staff once every 5 seconds, creates a slow moving arcane projectile that deals massive arcane damage and attacks enemies with arcane barrage. Powerful explosion after 5 seconds. Dagger of Heart and Blood. Each attack gives stackable damage increasing buff if Blood Demon form is activated. Increases its duration by 1 second per stack. Every attack has a chance to spawn Bloody Spike Strike on an enemy around you. Bloody Spike explodes after striking. Dagger of Madness. Each strike applies confusion effect on the target, which makes it not attack you. With 33% chance, it has a chance to spawn an illusion that the enemy will attack instead of you. Has a chance to apply devastating mind attack that deals 500% damage. Axe of Madness. Each strike applies a confusion effect on target, which makes it not attack you with 33% chance. Has a chance to spawn an illusion that the enemy will attack instead of you. Has a chance to apply devastating mind attack that deals 500% damage. Earthbound Smasher. Each strike stacks damage absorbing shield on the player. Each strike has a chance to spawn underground spike on an enemy around the player. Each strike can spawn waves of rocks all around the player. Bloody Crusher. Each attack gives stackable damage increasing buff. If Blood Demon form is activated, increases its duration by 1 second per stack. Every attack has a chance to spawn Bloody Spike Strike on an enemy around you. Bloody Spike explodes after striking. And here we have the Hammer of Chains and Chain Shield. So with the Hammer of Chains, each strike has a chance to chain enemies around the target and mobilizing them. Chained enemies receive damage over time. After some time, chained enemies explode. With the Chain Shield, nothing really changes in the effects. It's just all the stats just get boosted. Light Piercer and the Shining Shield. With Light Piercer, every attack applies stackable burn of holy energy that deals damage over time. Shield Bash, Powerful Strike and Paladin Seal create flash of powerful energy that deals damage depending on stacked burns on enemies and also has a chance to spawn judgment nearby and that's all i know about living weapons so i hope this clears up any questions that you might have regarding living weapons like where to get them how to get experience for them how to actually upgrade them and hopefully the showcase shines a light on what sort of build you want to go for in the end game or what living weapon to pick for your build and if you guys didn't know already i did make a discord if you want to jump in there and ask any questions or just hang out we're pretty relaxed in the stables that's going to do it from me guys thanks so much for watching i really appreciate it and i hope to see you guys in the next one all right guys take care